G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Two Aussie Thrifters. We're here for a What Sold. So, we love What Sold videos. There's been some awesome ones getting around already this month. Um, so this is what we have sold in July. Um, we're gonna run through 20 items um, that we've made some nice little profits on. Some pretty cool little items here. Um, also some stuff that you probably have seen us pick up in the last sort of month or so. So it's pretty cool for us to be able to show you um, the items that we've picked up and then what we've sold them for. So pretty keen to show you what we've sold in July. Let's get to it. The first item that we have sold uh, was actually this Fujifilm Finepix 3D camera. I picked this up, I think it was last year on the Garage Sale Trail. Um, oh, I love Garage Sale Trail. So keen to get it's on coming up this again. year. Um, so I picked that up for $75. Um, we oh. <laughs> yeah, big spender. Um, we actually sent that overseas. So we sold it for 290 bucks. We didn't have to pay any postage because the buyer paid the postage, which is nice. Uh, fees cut were $37.70. Leaving us a profit of 177.30. Very nice. Awesome. Um, we picked up the TP Link Smart LED Light Globe. Grabbed that one from Vinnie's. It was new and sealed for five dollars, and it sold pretty quickly. How long did we have that up for? Like maybe ten days. Probably ten days. I reckon. Yeah, it wasn't quite two weeks. So that was a really quick one. So looking out for those again. Uh, picked it up for five, as I said. Fees were $4.55. We packaged it up in a little box, which cost us $8.30. Um, and sold that one for $35. So we made $17.15. I just did that in my head just now. <laughs> yeah, so that was a nice little flip. Um, that was the first little item we picked up like that. So we'll definitely keep an eye out for them. Again. Yeah, I never sold a globe before that one. Yeah. Um, I picked up this Monster Jam Xbox 360 game. Uh, probably... I don't know, maybe four or five weeks ago um, in one of the videos. I only paid about two bucks for it. So, um, nice little item to pick up. We like picking up games. Now, this one actually sells for quite high. So, I sold this for $55. Nice. So, that's a very nice loop, especially on um, games. That was for the Xbox 360. Uh, we packaged it up into 500 grams. So it cost us $7.55. Um, fees were only $7.15. So, we made $38.30 on that game. Beautiful. If I could do that every day, I'd be stoked. $2 is a pretty good pickup. Yeah, so good. <laughs> uh, we sold the Adidas Y3 women's shoes, size 7. Um, we had them for a bit longer. We were hanging on to those. Yeah. I thought they'd be a really quick flip. Uh, but they have sold now, so we picked it up originally for $8 for the pair, sold it for $71, so after our fees of $9.23, and we... Went overseas, that one. So we didn't pay postage? No, they paid postage as Where well. Where did we send those to overseas? Uh, I think that one was like um, China or somewhere like that, Hong Kong maybe. That's crazy. Either way, we made $53.77. Beautiful. So do keep an eye out for those Adidas sort of Y3. Um, they wow. you do have to be careful though because they can get fake sometimes. So those were definitely yeah. definitely a real pair. Uh, this sale actually surprised me. Like I knew these were a really good pair of jeans, but I didn't think I was going to get what I asked for them. How high can a pair of I, jeans go? How high can a used pair of jeans go? So these are a pair of Diesel Wakey um, men's jeans. Uh, we picked them up at Savers. Um, so we did pay up. I think we paid about twenty dollars on those. <laughs> um, Very used jeans. Yeah, twenty bucks. But we sold them for hundred and fourteen bucks. <laughs> it was like explosions. Um, so twelve eighty five postage, fourteen eighty two in fees, leaving us an awesome profit of sixty six thirty three. That's so, pretty wicked. When we picked them up, we knew they were going to go pretty high, and we did mention that in the video. Um, so diesel jeans can range anywhere from like 30 right up to like 150 even used. Yeah. We usually sit around like a 60 or 70 dollar mark, but that yeah. pair was just like... Insane. And I think we've got one more pair of that style sitting in the store, so it'll be cool when they sell. Um, we sold the Scarpa Women's Hiking Boots. Um, so the brown leather we just gave a little bit of a shine to, we put a little bit of mink oil conditioner on them so they looked beautiful in the picture. Uh, picked them up for $15, sold them for 100 schmackaroos. Um, so fees, $15, posted them for $12.85 in a 3 kilo, just wrapped up in some bubble wrap. So we made $57 and $15. Yeah, nice profit on those. Um, this next item you would have seen us pick up in the collector's lot um, of DVDs and like memorabilia and stuff. Um, 
So I have aggregated this down to $10 per item because that's way more than we actually pay per item. Um, yeah. But that's sort of what I would expect to find this if it was at a thrift store. In the wild. Yeah, in the wild. You'd be very lucky to find this in the wild because we sold this for 124 bucks. So it was Walt Disney Treasures behind the scenes. Um, in the tin. Yeah, and it was sealed. Um, they're like a very collectible DVD. So keep your eye out. Um, even if you find them used, you're going to probably make some pretty good cash. I didn't know they existed. Yeah. They are so cool. They are all region one. Um, so they play in like the NTSC format or USA format. Um, but you can get um, like dual band DVD players now that do multiple regions. So whatever. Uh, that went overseas um, to Brazil, I believe. <laughs> um, so fees were $16.12. Again, we didn't pay postage because it went overseas. Sweet. Leaving us an awesome profit of $97.88. Wow. So, yeah. so keep your eye out for Walt Disney Treasures, the tin, um, the proper tin ones, because they go insane. Beautiful. Next item, Sony Walkman box. It's for your car. Yeah. So this has the cassette it goes, part that plugs yeah. into your cassette player in your car so you can play a CD. Crazy. Old school. <laughs> Our customer was super happy with this purchase. So we picked it up for $20, sold it for $104.95, uh, fees $13.65 ish. Yep. Postage seventeen seventy five. Do we go custom on that? Yeah, that was a custom box because yeah. it didn't quite fit in any dimensions that we had. So it was a bit bigger, but we still, after that, made fifty three fifty five. Got positive feedback because he was. He stoked. loved it. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> cool. He told us his like whole story of having it like back in the day, and then he was like bought a new car and for some reason didn't have a CD player. <laughs> so he's like, I need to get a cassette that goes into my CD player, <laughs> uh, into my cassette thing, so I can play CDs. Crazy. It was great. Um, this next item I again picked up from the DVD haul that we did. Yeah. Um, it is this Seal Carlton, um, the football club, um, grand final set from. I thought it was a beer. <laughs> it is a beer. Um, from 1968 to 1995, which I'm presuming is probably the last time Carlton won a premiership. Oh. Awkward. <laughs> um, I put cost of goods down as $5 for this. Um, we sold it for 53 so a nice little profit there. Um, and, sorry, a nice little sale there. Uh, Twelve eighty-five postage because it went in a three kilo. Six eighty-nine fees, leaving us twenty-eight dollars and twenty-six cents. I'll take it every day of the week. Um, favorite thing for us to pick up: Doc Martens. Oh, <laughs> they're beautiful. So this is the ten-hole Doc Martens, uh, size US twelve. We paid pretty mega bucks for mm. this considering that we're thrifting. So we did buy them for $50, yep. um, which we love to find things for $10 all the time. It doesn't always happen, but we sold them for 130 Yeah. So fees were $16.90, postage $12.85 because we packed them up really square and jammed them into a three kilo bag. Uh, so we made $50.25. Yeah, so we doubled our money. So nice. when we talk about buying stuff for higher prices, this is why we do it, because we know that we're going to make good money on it. So a lot of people would have passed them over because they're $50 and that's quite expensive for an op shop. But if you can make double your money on it, why would you not pick them up? And Doc Martens are a super like um, popular brand and they're in really good condition. So I'd pay $50 every day if I could. We barely even polish them. We yeah. just like dust them and Super take a quick. picture. And yeah, away we went. Uh, Sony remotes. Yay. So we sold this one here. Um, it is a Sony RM D33 remote for like a mini disc player. Um, now I had this listed for about 90 bucks and I was the only one in Australia with it. For a remote control. I know, crazy. But the only other comp that I could find was in England and the conversion ended up being like 160 bucks. So I listed it pretty high because I was the only one there, somehow had sold, um, but there was no others in Australia. Now, Might as well try. Yeah, I went back and forward with this guy um, and I ended up getting $60 for it. That's so pretty good that's for a pretty remote, remote control. Paid $3, wow. uh, 780 in fees, 755 postage, leaving us a profit of 41.65. That blows my mind. From three bucks. That's awesome. So keep your eye out for remotes, especially Sony, Especially, especially, <laughs> especially Sony, and also um, some of the Samsung ones go quite well as well. 
There you go. There's one for you. Uh, next item I just picked up for funsies in Savers. It was inside one of those plastic bags where they put a bunch of toys in. Yeah. So there were some random playing cards and things I didn't <laughs> want and a 1998 barrel of monkeys, the red one, That's in so really cool. good nick. And I just grabbed it and I thought, I don't know if we're even going to sell this. But the whole bag was one dollar. We re-donated the other items that were in there. Mm. And I just listed it up at $34. Shoot for the stars. I was like, I don't <laughs> know if this is even going to sell, but it's in good nick. It's retro. It had all the monkeys. It had the instructions. And it sold full price. 34 bucks. $34. So we did pay $4.42 in fees and I just bubble wrapped it and put it in a 500 gram satchel yep. for $7.55. So we made $21.03 on a barrel of monkeys. Why not? That was fun. It's nostalgia. That's that's what it is. That's, that's all an it is. enjoyable <laughs> $21. Yeah. Uh, the next item we sold was this pair of Reebok CrossFit Nano 7s. So they're a CrossFit shoe. They're in really good condition. I um, picked these up for savers for about 15 bucks. Um, I had them listed for less than a week and we sold them. I didn't know you had them. Yeah. The first time I saw them was when it said ding sold. And we sold them for $69.95. Beautiful. Um, very quickly, very good um, type of shoe to look out for is a Reebok CrossFit shoes. Just check the condition, there's no like wear on the sides, especially like where the foot puts pressure on the outer because they wear through in that sort of spot and also on the sole. So check that out. Um, as I said, we sold it for $69.95, $12.85 postage because they went in on a 3 kilo. I love when they fit in a 3 kilo. Uh, $9.09 in fees, leaving us a very quick profit of $33. Bam. Love it. Uh, next item is actually three items, which I've mentioned in our <laughs> last video. So we sold this textbook three days in a row. Yeah. So one each day. Every day. Yeah. It was so weird. Always on the lookout for this book. So um, we'll say collectively all together cost $10 for yep. all three books. Um, so we so so we sold the three of them in total for $94. Yep. $12.22 in fees. Collectively $22.65 to ship them out just all in 500 gram bags. It was very close to 500 grams, so mm. I had to do like paper, not bubble wrap around them. Or something. Yeah. yeah. So on those three books, um, one right after another every day, we made $49.13 profit. Yeah. And it's funny how we sort of, we had a couple of those sitting around for a little while and we didn't sell them. And then we sold bang, bang, bang. It's like three days the start of semester. Yeah. We sold two to WA and one to Victoria. So I don't know, some courses <laughs> using it Just somewhere. Just kicked up and they going hard. <laughs> This next item we actually picked up in Darwin. Yeah. Um, so we paid $10 and at the time I had a pretty good stab in the dark at how much we were going to sell it for. Should we have a quick look at that? Go for it. Back there. So we should be able to get $69.95 out of something like so that. We said that we would probably get $69.95. What did we get? $69.95. Ding, ding, ding. It's almost like we know what we're doing. That was my favorite place <laughs> that we grabbed in Darwin. Yeah, it was a very nice uh, Harley Davidson short sleeve shirt. It was a three extra large, so that really helped it as well. Bigger sizes sell better. Uh, had a nice embroidery on the back, yeah. and also there was like a Harley USA on the sleeve. Um, $69.95 sold, cost us 10 bucks, as you guys would have seen in that video. $7.55 postage, because we did get it in a 500 and nine dollars and nine cents in fees and again leaving us a nice profit of 43 dollars and 30 cents we sold that within a week of listing so i had to wash it twice so yeah. i'm glad it's gone it was nice it was a cool item it was though. very nice and we did find that other harley shirt that we still haven't listed so we need to get that up yeah i need to find its mystery size and i reckon we're gonna get 59.95 on that one. Oh, we're gonna do it break it's, gonna happen. it's gonna happen what else did we get? Sold. Um, here is an example of one of the pop vinyls we sold. We do go through a few of them, but my favourite this month was The Gentleman yeah. from Buffy. Yeah. And it had about a bazillion watches, and by a bazillion I mean like nine. I think it was twelve. Get up to twelve. Yeah, and I sent it off for out. It was there. Oh, yeah. It was there for a while, and it had so many watches, but we listed it high. Um, so someone eventually bought it on your generous offer. Oh. $59 <laughs> for a pop vinyl. He was pretty cool though. Yeah. Um, so we usually only pick up pop vinyls in bulk lots if they cost $5 or less. So we will call it $5 for cost, $7.67 in fees. 
uh, $8.30 just bubble wrapped and then in just a recycled box. Yep. Um, so selling that for $59 left us with $38.03. Nice little profit. Lovely. So we've showed a few of the pops over time and we sort of sell them anyway from about $19.95 and we sold some right up until sort of $79, $89.95. So those ones that we're selling for 20 bucks, we're not making a huge profit on, but it's these sort of ones where you make your money. So it's good to get them in bulk when you're getting those better ones in there as well. That one was actually from the collector's lot though. So yeah. Oh. yeah. But cost well, of goods probably is about five as well. cost would have been less, but we'll call it five. Yeah. Uh, the next item we sold, um, you guys know we love the RM Williams. All day. We've been smashing day. it. Um, we picked this moleskin jacket up from Savers um, probably three or four weeks ago, I reckon. Maybe even longer, maybe six weeks. That one with Subaru and Yeah, it had on Subaru pocket. on the pocket, yeah. Um, whammy. 25 bucks cost. Um, we sold it for 110 so awesome. Uh, 12.85 postage because it went in a 500 gram. We folded up nicely. 500 gram? No, three kilos. <laughs> not a 500 gram. I'm good, gram. but I'm not that good. Yeah, you would have had to like cut it in like fours. <laughs> Uh, so it went in a three kilo for twelve eighty five, and fees were fourteen dollars thirty, leaving us a profit of fifty seven eighty five. That's pretty good. Awesome. Okay, we picked up another textbook. We got uh, accounting information systems. It's start of semester two, so textbooks are doing great for us at the moment. Uh, we picked this one up probably at Savers or at our Oxfam bookshop. It yeah. was four ninety nine. We'll say five dollars. Yep. Um, and we sold it for seventy five dollars. Yeah, great little flip. So we paid $9.75 in fees, we packaged it up in a 3 kilo bag for $12.85, so we ended up making $47.40 off that one. So good. Um, textbooks are great guys, you just have to get the right ones at the right time. So scan them if you can, the little barcode using the app, and look up sold, solds are important, and pre-owned, because that's how you're going to work out if it's selling or not. Some of them I've looked at have had so many listed and just zero sold. Yeah, so be careful. Um, you don't want to get stuck with them. Uh, the next item that we sold were this pair of Nike Jordan Superflies. They are Superfly. Superfly. Um, so we picked these up a while back for about $12. Um, we ended up selling for 75 bucks. Nice. I did have them up for about 99 um, and I had a couple offers come through on it. So I took 75 knowing that I didn't pay a heap for them. They were in good condition though, so I was pretty happy with that. Uh, 12 dollars shipping because it went in 3 kilo. And 9 dollars in fees, leaving us a profit of $40.40. Boom. Very nice. Last item. Our last favourite item of July was the Keen Hiking Fishing sandals yeah. they're kind of funny looking yeah <laughs> <laughs> um but they're super popular we'll always be looking out for these we picked these pair up for eight these pair picked this pair up for eight dollars yeah uh and we sold them for 74 dollars yeah super super awesome um they were very good condition um and keen that sort of sandal is quite hot so we didn't have them for heaps long maybe a couple weeks maybe three weeks um, and what, twelve eighty five postage? Yep. So we paid nine sixty two in fees, twelve eighty five postage because I did wrap them up pretty nicely yep. and chucked them in a three kilo. Yeah. Uh, so that left us with a profit of forty three dollars fifty three. And I believe they're going back to the territory, the old homeland. So, oh really? <laughs> yeah, not far from Alice actually, just up in one of the communities. So that's different. Cool. Um, so that's uh, 20 items that we sold this month. Um, we will do a quick breakdown of what we actually sold in value and how many items. Uh, so for the whole month of July, even though that we're away for a week, and well, it was almost 10 days in the end. Wow, so we missed like a quarter. Yeah, right? we missed a quarter. We did set up pre-listed um, listings to go live every day, um, but only five a day. So that probably impacted us a little bit, but we still sold $8,379.26. All right. Um, so we're pretty steady at that rate at the moment. Anywhere between eight and nine seems to be where we where found our groove. Um, we will be looking to build that up, obviously, over the next few months as well, coming into Christmas. So yeah, we sold 149 <laughs> items um, for the month. Um, and that gave us the average sale price of $56.23. Nice. So we're sort of shooting for that close as, as we can to 60. Um, obviously those sort of lower end items like DVDs and stuff like that sort of drag Sometimes down a bit. Sometimes you just find a barrel of monkeys. Yeah, but we sold that for a good, good price as well. So nice month. Um, we've already had some pretty good sales um, today and yesterday in August. August kicked off well. Yeah, good little start. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what this month does. 
Um, if you guys like this video, smash the like button for us. Um, leave us some comments. What, what are you guys told this, this um, July? Um, I'm sure there's been some great sales. We've already seen some cool videos, so link us to your what's old video. Yeah, definitely. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, we're sort of getting close to 400, so we can't wait to tick over that, which is just crazy, really. I didn't really think we'd ever get to that, but yeah, Me either. We're going well. So <laughs> thanks for checking it out. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming along with our journey, and we just we just really appreciate all the comments we've been getting and. Just little people um, reaching out for some support, and um, we we ask questions of a lot of other people as well. So thanks everyone. <laughs> um, thanks for coming along, and we'll see you next time on Two Aussie Thrifters. See ya. Bye. <laughs>